Brazil's Lula and Bolsonaro face runoff after surprisingly tight result. Brazil's election is going into a second round in which left-winger Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva will face far-right incumbent Jair Bolsonaro, with almost all the votes counted, Lula had won 48% against Bolsonaro's 43% a much closer result than opinion polls had suggested, but Lula fell short of the more than 50% of valid votes needed to prevent a runoff. Voters now have four weeks to decide which of the two should lead Brazil. Winning outright in the first round was always going to be a tall order for any candidate the last time it happened was 24 years ago, but President Bolsonaro and Lula had given their supporters hope that they could achieve just that both candidates can and will claim this as a victory, though. Lula has already said that this is a mere delay on his way to the presidency. For the 76-year-old former metal worker who could not run in the 2018 election because he was in prison after being convicted on corruption charges which were later annulled this spells a remarkable comeback. And President Bolsonaro, whom opinion polls had shown trailing far behind Lula, will rejoice in the fact that he proved the pollsters wrong, just as he had predicted he would. Lula says he will bolster measures to protect the Amazon rainforest, while Mr. Bolsonaro has argued that parts of the rainforest should be opened up to economic exploitation. Lula says he will bolster measures to protect the Amazon rainforest, while Mr. Bolsonaro has argued that parts of the rainforest should be opened up to economic exploitation. Deforestation and forest fires have soared during President Bolsonaro's time in office. Climate activists have warned that if he is re-elected, the area could reach a tipping point, but with Mr. Bolsonaro counting on the agricultural sector and agribusiness for votes and support, it is Lula who is the preferred choice of climate activists.